What do you mean by the term phase crossover frequency, phase margin, and gain crossover frequency and gain margin? Well, my name is Rishi Ramju, and welcome to the Backwards Engineering Community, where I make it very easy for you. So, in this video, we will be checking out certain terms that we see in the case of plotting a polar plot. So here, in order to find these terms, let us first plot a particular polar plot like this. For that, let us consider the S-plane like this. So, in the case of an S-plane here, we know that this over here, this is the real part or this is sigma and this is the imaginary part J omega. So here, this is the S plane. So upon taking the angles in the case of an S plane, we have this is 0 degrees, this is 90 degrees, this is 180 degrees and this as 270 degrees in the anti-clockwise direction. But when we go in the clockwise direction, here we have minus 90 degrees over here, here we have minus 180 degrees, here we have minus 270 degrees and here we have minus 360 degrees. So this is the S plane. So here, in the case of finding these terms, that is a phase crossover frequency, phase margin, gain crossover frequency and gain margin, in the case of a polar plot, there is one main very, very, very important and very, very interesting point on this. That is what you refer to as the critical point. So the critical point is present over here in the negative real axis at a phase of minus 180 degrees over here at a point minus one zero. This particular point is what you refer to as the critical point in the case of a polar plot. So it is based on this particular critical point we find these particular terms. This is very, very, very simple. So here, let us consider a basic polar plot, something like this, say, let us take say, something like this, 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 this. Let this be a particular polar plot plot. It originates from the origin over here, zero. So here, what we observe is that this particular plot, it originates from the origin and then it goes like this, 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 and it intersects this particular point in the negative 180 degree over here like this. In the real part, having a phase of minus 180 degree, it intersects over here. So that point at which this particular plot intersects the real axis at minus 180 degree, this particular point is what you refer to as the phase crossover frequency. So let us take this particular point as the frequency known as the phase crossover frequency. So this is the phase crossover frequency. So now here, this point over here, this point plays a very important role. So what we observe is that this point, let us say this point is at a distance of A from the origin. So if this point is at a distance of A from the origin, then this much distance is simply what you refer to as the gain margin. Let us take this gain margin as a GM. So here, the gain margin is obtained with the formula given as the gain margin GM is equal to 20 log 1 divided by A, where A is this much distance. So 20 log 1 divided by A is the equation that is used for the purpose of finding the gain margin. So now here, we have found out the phase crossover frequency and the gain margin. Next, we have to find the gain crossover frequency and the phase margin. So in order to find the gain crossover frequency, what we do is that we now draw a unit circle over here with one as the radius. So here, it passes through the critical point because this much magnitude is one. So here, we draw a unit circle like this over here with a radius of one unit. And now what we do is that we extend this over here and what we observe is that this particular plot intersects the unit circle at this particular point. And that particular point is simply what you refer to as the gain crossover frequency. This is omega gc, that is the gain crossover frequency. So now, next we have to find the phase margin. So in order to find the phase margin, what we do is that we slowly extend this point towards the origin over here. 
we extend it from the origin over here like this 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 and then we obtain an angle over here this particular angle is the face margin pm so these thus are the basic elements of a polar plot namely the phase crossover frequency over here the gain margin over here the gain crossover frequency over here and the phase margin over here as simple as that guys there's nothing more to it so here this is the critical point so the interesting fact is that if this particular plot over here if it is within this particular critical point it means that this particular control system is a stable control system and rather if this plot was passing through the critical point like this that means that it is a critically stable control system and now if this plot was rather flowing outside this critical point this is an unstable control system so this thus is simply what you refer to as the terms phase crossover frequency phase margin gain crossover frequency and gain margin of a particular polar plot as simple as that guys there's nothing more to it so i hope you guys now have clear sense of what you refer to as phase crossover frequency phase margin gain crossover frequency and gain margin and if you guys found this video informative please do hit the like button and join this community by hitting that subscribe button we'll be discussing about the further topics in the upcoming videos so stay tuned stay subscribed until next time i'll see you guys in the next video thank you